The car, there's no way that car had a 150 point inspection. The transmission dipstick or the transmission cap hadn't even been touched. It was coated in grime. Uh, that didn't, it came off immediately when I touched it. So I know if someone had checked it, there would have been nothing there. Um, the brakes squealed very loudly when they showed up, and that was one of the things that we reported. Um, and the tranny, it's definitely the tranny whining because when you change gear, uh, you can hear it at idle or in park, and when you put it in gear, it gets louder. So somebody who had checked that would have, would have and should have heard that. Um, the other thing that we reported that was also in the report was that it was filthy. I mean, there was goldfish in there, there was gunk caked in there, and green gunk in between the seats in the back seat and then there was chewed gum in one of the cup holders all right guys so fast forward it's been five days uh, we are sending back the black uh, Explorer and we have a uh, a new XLT model with the 2.3 liter turbo that just got dropped off that I'm about to go test drive all right let's go check it out It's not going to be a make or break for us, I'm just saying. It's here and then over there. There's a big... Whatever it is, it could easily have come off. And there was something here, I just brushed it off with my finger. It was like black gunk. From Raleigh. Because the other one came from Myrtle Beach. I think you got to put your foot on the pedal. <sighs> That's cool. So you're aware, sir, um, that car, it reported it, that there was a whirring noise and he recorded it for the motor when it gets warm. You can hear it. And I, I thought it was a pulley and I pulled it up on my ramps just to kind of get under there and listen and it's the transmission. It's 100% the transmission. That was like the big, that was the big no-go right there. It was pissed. Because, well, I mean, I would have, I didn't, if I went through Silver Rock, it'd void the Ford warranty. If I went through Ford, it would take more than seven days and just, there's not enough time. Right. I'm going to put my kids' car seats in and take it for the test drive. You ready for a test drive? Yeah. Probably. All right, so we're driving the new XLT with the 2.3 liter EcoBoost. It's definitely, uh, it's already already better than the other one. No, no noises coming from it that are unusual, no harsh. The other one wasn't shifting harsh, but this one is shifting good. Um, tell that that little motor is just trying to make sure it keeps up with speed so uh, if you're holding a gear it keeps trying to pop uh, gears to maintain speed that's no big deal um, we're, uh, we, I think I think this is the one hopefully I can get some new tires for the front though because they're probably about 50% yeah. you like the new car Max you like the new car no no okay good <laughs> We got, uh, we got three out of three out of four say yes. So this car had a little bit of cleaning issues. I'm guessing that it came from same came from same dealer. So I'm gonna guess that Carvana in Myrtle Beach, their detailing department, needs a little bit of talking to. Uh, but they're gonna make it right. They're gonna give us a gift card for detailing, which we'll use for who knows what. But uh, I'm gonna detail it myself. So that's no big deal. Um, but I'm take we'll take that gift card and go get a nice dinner with it or something. Um, but yep. Yeah. Overall experience, seems like Carvana's working out. We'll uh, do one final report after seven days. As long as nothing goes wrong. Mom, you like your new car? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's on YouTube, again. Got her twice in this video. You're not putting me on YouTube. Oh, yes I am. Oh, that that yeah. one little part. No. Yep. There's Bailey in her new car. Can't see her, it's actually tinted really well. It looks good.
got so much new tech features in there stuff that i've never even used so like the proximity unlocks and uh yeah, proximity locks and uh, I was looking I keep trying to grab the key when we take it out 